Hey guys, Doug here from the Doug D'Amico channel. And today I'm just getting around to uh, editing and uploading a quick video I made about the um, Wagner Powertex, I think it is, uh, spray texture gun. Um, it, you know, it's a, I almost said airless sprayer, but it's not airless. It has a blower fan on it that puts out a tremendous amount of airflow as it sprays the texture. and. It does a great job. I came up with uh, just a little helpful hint on it that I, I guess I hadn't seen anywhere else before and I thought I would share it. Um, it's a quick review on the, the, the power text from Wagner. It, you know, I have a professional um, contractor grade texture gun. My problem is I don't have a big air compressor that will you know, feed that gun enough air. So, um, so I bought the the little Powertech sprayer just to use for my home renovation, um, which we've been working on now for I won't even tell you how many years. Still living in a construction zone, but uh, stay tuned. Here's uh, the video, and uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, like, and leave comments. Thanks. Um, I want to show you guys something. Okay, so this is the Wagner. Okay, it's the Power Tex. Remember we talked about this um, sprayer. This is a great little texture gun. But let me show you a trick. Okay, this uh, motor goes on here. Okay, like so. Okay, see how the motor goes on? Let me take it back off for you, show you again. Okay, easy way to remember how to put the motor on uh, is the switch is gonna end up on top. Okay, and this is like, takes like a quarter turn. So, see how it kinda, it almost slides in right there, but the switch is on the side, okay? We're gonna rotate it clockwise until it locks into place. And there's a padlock right here, and there's a line, okay? That line shows you that, that that's locked together. All right, so then, um, let's see, can we zoom out? Uh, no, it's not gonna let me zoom out. Okay, I'll just raise you up just a little bit. Okay, hang on. Okay, so then I want to show you something. Sorry, you're on my kitchen counter here. Okay. So the um, hopper Okay, remember the hopper. Hopper has an arrow there. Okay, here's here's the hopper. Okay, watch this. Okay, we're gonna set it in the texture gun. Okay, let me show you something here. So one way it falls right in. See that? Well, let me turn it 90 degrees and watch what happens, okay? If you have it, and I don't know why it's this way, but if you put the, the deeper end of the hopper to the right-hand side of the gun as you're looking at the back of the gun, because that's how you, you're gonna be looking at this gun, notice the hopper doesn't go all the way down, okay? You're gonna have to turn that 180 degrees, okay? And when you set this in here, it will fall all the way down, okay? Now, if you are doing walls, you're gonna turn this and you're gonna lock it, okay? Uh, that's gonna, <clears throat> so, so if you're doing, if you're just doing walls, um, you're gonna have the bigger part of your hopper here toward the back, okay? You're you're gonna you're gonna be pointing up just a little bit as you go up to the 
top of the wall and then you go down you know to the floor okay so the bulk of your your hopper i don't know if you can see that but that hopper has a deeper end to it one side is really flat okay that'd be the front right now and the other side is deeper okay um so when you're doing ceilings though watch this okay so when you stand it up like this to do a ceiling okay it can't be like that because you're trying to feed right here and all of your mud is going to sink down here to the bottom okay so we're doing ceilings today right so we're going to rotate this 180 degrees and click it into place okay now what i want you to see is okay now the flat part is at the bottom okay if you hold that gun perfectly vertical about like that there's a slight angle down to the gun okay it's going to feed all the mud that's in that hopper right now it's going to feed down to the gun okay what what is kind of difficult here though is the fact that when i have it leaned back i can't hardly put any mud really in the gun because what's it try to do well it tries to pour out this big hole right here can you see that okay so the mud's trying to pour out the big hole in the back of the gun and believe me it absolutely will if you fill if you put very much mud in the hopper it just wants to run right out so here's a cool little trick just do this take you some gorilla tape okay now remember they're not paying me nothing for this and i'm using i'm gonna use a little bit of this tape okay i put some gorilla tape on my gun and you can just seal it on there really nice make sure that the edges are taped okay and what I did was I actually taped, I actually put two rows. Okay, I'm gonna waste probably a little more of my tape here to just try to show you guys something. This is cool. Okay, so then you're gonna take your second piece. You might just well lay them on there, right? You want them really nice and even because you want that tape to seal. Okay, no leaks. Can't have any leaks. That's the that's the whole point of the tape here so we don't have any leaks okay so that's what i did i take i put tape over the hopper like that what that allows me to do i'm going to back up so you get a shot of my lovely counter what that allows me to do is to hold the gun vertically toward the ceiling and I have most of the hopper covered with tape. Okay, so I can actually, I can actually lean it way back like this and have a lot of mud in my hopper. Okay, and it can't run out the, it can't run out the fill hole. So, so there you go. Uh, you know, 50 cents, maybe a dollar, I don't know. <laughs> 50 cents worth of Gorilla Tape and it saves you from dumping a whole bunch of mud uh, down your arm and into your armpit and uh, all over everything so a little bit of gorilla tape put it on the hopper then you can tilt the gun way back straight up to do your ceilings and uh, i just got done doing a bedroom ceiling and that worked perfect for me so give it a try and uh, tune into my channel uh, please like and subscribe. We're brand new. Um, we've had a couple of different channels that we weren't really trying to get subscribers on. Uh, it was kind of just a place to post YouTube videos. Um, you know, kind of to store them maybe. I don't know. That sounds really bad. But anyhow, um, yeah, follow me. Um, we're doing some crazy things all the time. Uh, lots of DIY stuff for your house. That's not so crazy. Sometimes that's boring, but Hey, we all look uh, for new tips and tricks. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.